Hello, and welcome to Philibon's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Routing and Remote Access Using LAN Routing. The goal for this video is for us to convert a server into a router. We're going to take one of our servers that has two network cards in it, and one of the network cards will go to the client's network which is a 10.0.0 network and the other network card will be connected to the server form which is the 10.10.10 network. We're going to set it up so that the clients can connect to the servers and the servers can connect to the client computers. Let's begin. Here we are on the server router 1. Let's open up the server manager so we can install the routing and remote access. We've been through the add roles and feature wizard before, so I'll go through it quickly. I'll put a check mark inside of the remote access. Okay, let's install it. Okay, now that it's installed, we can open up the routing and remote access window. Okay, let's take a look. We can see that the routing and remote access is not on yet because of the red icon on the server. Let's start the configuration with the setup wizard. I'm going to choose the custom install because it gives you the most options. We can see that there's a number of choices, both for VPN and NAT, but I just want LAN routing. Okay, we have to start the service. Notice that the icon is still red. It will change to green once the routing and remote access is up and running. There, it's green. Let's take a look at this user interface. We see that it gives us the option to add more servers. This one also does the same thing. This one allows us to configure the routing in remote access, which we have already done. And there's also a new feature called Enable Direct Access. Let's take a look at the properties. This allows the server to choose whether or not it's going to use IPv4 and IPv6. The security tab is used more with VPN in deciding how security will be applied. And here's a tab specifically for IPv4 where you can decide how the client IP address will be used with VPN. The same is true for IPv6. This IC refers to a protocol used by VPN. And so does the point-to-point -point protocol and this allows us to decide how we will log information. These are a look at the interfaces that we can use.
We also have demand routing, which we will look at in the VPN theories. And here we have the interfaces that are being used by IPv4. We also have a number of protocols that we can use. And we can add static IP addresses to create routes beyond the interface. Here's a list of the current routing table. Now we're on the test server. Let's try seeing if we can ping to the client computer. We can see that this server is in the 10.10.10 .10 network. There we were able to ping to PC1, which is on the 10.0.0 network. So our server is doing LAN routing. In this video, we looked at an important concept in networking called LAN routing. In the next video, we're going to look at another important concept involving IPv4 called network address translation. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.